Hey crafters. How y'all doing? I'm um getting ready to string up this needle so we can finally after all these many months I can finally hold dear to my promise and show y'all how to turn your favorite tea or teas into um, a dress. And you see how I'm doing this. I use a floss stick and just um, put it right on down in there. It'll go. It's got to be patient. And just pull it on through the bar like a butt sleeve. It comes through. And just um, always put, <coughs> always put um, right much, you know, because it's a whole shirt that uh, that you gotta go around, so you need right much yarn. And what's left over, you just leave it on the shirt and just crochet it in and around, um, and just start crocheting. And just um, you know, cut off, cut it off after you get done, and just start your line up again. Real easy, really very easy. But um, this is how I do mine. Here's the needle right here. So I had this. This bit right here. See that? Can y'all see that? Let me adjust this uh, phone a little bit better. All right, see this here? So with this, from here to here, I'll stop it right there. And it's yay long. See how much, how much yarn I have? Because, um, you really got to put it close together so that you won't have holes in your in your shirt going around as you crochet. <coughs> and I always just start in the corner. Start in the corner somewhere, you know, like on the sides or wherever you want to. But I start like right in the corner. And it takes time, y'all. It's, it's not something that can be done in a matter of a couple of minutes. It takes time. I'm still drinking soda, y'all. <laughs> I'm still drinking soda. Alright, so what you do is start in the inside, because that's where you're going to want to um, put your knot at. <clears throat> And about right here, let me see, let me go up. Let me pull this stool up some. Oh. Mm. All right. I'm so glad to be doing this. I can't wait to find the proper jean jacket so we can do that project as well. <clears throat> I done got my yarn. Let me see. Caught in the stool foot. Let's see here. It's over on the other side. I got it. I got it. I don't have to set that plant outside. A oh, leaf on the floor that can drop off. Alright, so what I'll do. See right there? That's the corner right there. I'll start it about. Uh, what I normally do too, y'all, which I don't seem to be going to do it today. I ain't going to worry about it either, but anyway. Because this one, let me see how far down this come on me. Let me see. And that comes down pretty long, so. But for a little bit of a short shirt, the color of the shirt like this is a, a off-white uh, uh, 
It's like an off white. I will use the same color for a shorter shirt, but this is coming over my butt, so I ain't worrying about this so much. But for a little bit of a shorter shirt, what I would do is use the same color yarn that the shirt is to bring it down a little ways. And then add um, your different color to it. But in this case, I'm not worrying about that. So anyway, let me make sure my my yarn is um, untangled, so we won't have that problem. So I'm gonna start about any. I'm starting in the inside, and I'm gonna start right here on the on that seam right there. So I'm a little little crooked. There we go. So I'm going to come on through. And that seam right there might have to wiggle a little bit. And just pull, 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 pull. Let's see. Uh-oh, I pulled too much. Let's start again. I already got my hole, though. And know the holes do not expand. <sighs> Over time, even though the yarn is heavy on it, it does not expand. I got a little dirt from the plant on the yarn, look like. All right. So I'm going to pull. Make sure you wash your, end, wash your end when you're pulling. So that you won't do what I just did. <laughs> pull it too far. So when you get right here. Leave about this much of a tail. And just leave that right there. And then what you do. <laughs> I haven't done this in a while. So you come back in, and right next to it right here, try to go even. Get up here on the part that's been sewn where your, um, where your stitch is going across. I think that's how I usually do it. Wait a minute, let me get it together, y'all. It's been a while. Yeah, this is how I do it, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. The only way to do it. <coughs> Alright. <coughs> These darn fans on me now, I'm going to have to cut them off in a minute. Am I getting tangled up, y'all? Getting tangled up. Let's see here. Come on now. Alright, let me drink this little soda. Get myself together here. I got a little tangle in here. Just be patient. It'll come out. Okay, here we go. tedious task but it's so worth it in the end. I'm gonna I'm gonna show y'all my um 
my dresses that I made for my shirts. This takes time. Now you don't want to pull the yarn too tight. Leave it about right there, like that. More shoes in Petersburg. Mm -mm. High school student. Our youth not doing too good, y'all. They're not doing too good at all. I'm stopping because I'm trying to decide whether I want to go on with this brown. I think it'll be okay, but this is what I usually don't do. I usually use the color of the shirt um, before I use another color. And I'm sitting here wondering about this, but I think it's all good. This will be the first time I've ever done this. But it's all good. <clears throat> all right. First time for everything, man. All right. So I got to take this type of stitch all the way around this shirt. So like right next to it here, about an inch away, half an inch away or so, put it back through and pull again. This is, this takes time after you get past this part right here and you know, you're done with this and you're ready to crochet. The crocheting part is tedious. Um, but this is the most, the most tedious part right here, because as you can see, <laughs> I got another tangle. I just got to find, find my short end and pull it, let me see. I can see why I haven't done this in a while. Even though I hadn't been thinking about this part. Let's take the needle if I can see and pull that knot through. I don't know why I'm getting hung up here. It's so worth it in the end. Ooh, I gotta cut these fans off now. I ain't moving no more. So then kind of chill on my shoulders now. I'll get this through in a second. Give me a minute, y'all. Bear with me, please. But you can expect this to happen. <laughs> it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Alright, so... My night is cut. There we go. That was easy. <laughs> that was easy. That was easy. Okay, so let me get the pulling. The pulling. The pull. You try to use both hands to pull. That'll um. That might help it to not tangle. Okay. Oh, and let me tell you why I, why I chose this color. I chose this particular color that I did because of what's on the front. I decided to go with the chocolate brown that's on the front of this shirt right here. See that? It's saying melanin. And I chose to go with that chocolate right there. Oh, it's a lady. There we go. All right, give me some more soda. Oh, 
I don't know how I'm on a soda kick today. I guess because it's, it's cold and it's sweet. All at the same time. First time for everything, but no, this is usually not at all what I do right here. I use it, don't do this. And white, let me see. White is the um only color yarn that I do have. Alright, so here we go. You want about a half an inch in between so that um There we go, these damn nuts. Excuse my French. Oh, I'm gonna hold it. Wait a minute, I wanna pull it tight like that. Mess up my stitch. Don't wanna pull them tight. There we go. Oh, Noodle Chris is coming, y'all, to the um to the jazz festival at Mate Wyclef John, Fantasia, Monica, Andre Day. What? Ludacris? What? This is August at Math through the love it. Fantasia, my Wyclef, John, Monica. I haven't been to one. I ain't been one to pay no hundred dollars a day to go. And I also don't like the fact that um I don't like the fact that they have so many stages with the artists singing all at one time. I mean, because suppose, I don't like that. Because suppose um, <laughs> all I'm performing at the same time that you like, that you want to see. Now, you done spent all that money and you, you can't see what you're trying to see, you know? This is how it's looking so far. I got to go all the way around this shirt. It takes time, y'all. So, y'all might not see me again until I get all the way around this shirt right here. So, leave it like a half an inch going around so it'll be nice and neat now. Okay? And put it on your seam. But, yep, very tedious process. But again, it is worth it in the end. You have a unique um, piece of clothing that you'll cherish and have, and have, you know. I did my dresses, let me see. I did them almost, uh, hmm, how long ago has it been? Almost uh, three, three years ago. And they still good to go. I put them on and I don't iron them or do anything. Just put them on like they are. They're t-shirt, t-shirt dresses. And like I said, you can um, fix your sleeves, do something funky to your sleeves and to your collar if you want to. I mean, I've... Um, <coughs> I put yarn around my collars and things. <coughs> I gotta cut these. I gotta cut these fans off. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> but yeah, remember not to pull. But you could always use this part to fix it if you end up pulling. And make sure you leave it. Um, I didn't want to pull. So hopefully y'all got that. And now I'll come back. Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully I can do this video like in a couple of days. We'll see. We shall see y'all. We shall see. We shall see. But you want to make sure um, you keep everything even. Especially if you're um, 
if your color is like mine. Now, if you have, if it's not nice and neat going all around, and you're using green yarn on a green shirt, or red on red, or blue on blue, then you might have a little, a little leeway to play with. But for me, the way I'm doing this like this for the first time, I got to make sure that I, uh, that I have my even going all the way around. Well, it's not going to look, it's not going to look right. I'm a perfectionist. So I got to make sure this is done properly. But anyway, I will see y'all maybe at the halfway mark. And then after the halfway mark, I will see you at the end and show you how to tie that loose piece right here. And I'll um, start this with um, crocheting. And I want to add, let me see, in the beginning, let me see. I'm trying to think. It's been so long. Let me see. Let me see. In the beginning, you're going to want to use, what size needle is this? This is too big. You're going to want to use a small needle, a small crochet needle. Oh, wait a minute. I don't think I have no small ones in here, but you want to use like a size, I don't know what size that thing is right there. Let me see if I have any in here. Yeah, that's too small, but this is a, now that's a 2.0. Um, <coughs> okay, if that's a 2.0 right there, all my big needles are in here. Um... You will want to use, let me see, that's the 2.0. You will want to use like a, um, this is a 2.0 right here. You're going to want to use a, um, like a 3.0 to go when you go around the first time. Instead of a bigger one. Because they kind of tight to here. You want them touching the t-shirt right here. So, you know, you want to use a small needle going around there. About a, a 3.0. Yeah, because this is a 2. I got needles everywhere. This is just the ones that's in here. But yeah. And I'm going to go in the living room and I'm going to relax and try to do this so I can get this done and I can have it done in a couple of days. And and you can um decide what stitch you want to use. And I'll show you some of the stitches I've used with mine. You can actually get very creative in doing this. But I'm going to um insert in here mine and show you the, the outcome of the ones I've done. But anyway, I'll see y'all when I when I get to the halfway mark. I'm gonna try to let that be the day, okay? I'm gonna go and work diligent diligently on this. All right. All right, crafters, I'm back. I know I said I was coming back when I got halfway around, but okay, here's half. <laughs> That's half. And just the other half. I just kept going. And now. Because I waited long enough to do this. I don't need to keep waiting. Might as well get it done. So now what I do. I just bring this piece over. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Let's bring this long piece over like this. Well, it's not that long. And take this. Do it this way. Bring it over there. And I'm going to tie a knot right here. Just tie a knot. Want that tail hanging. And when you come back around, 
you can put um, when you come back around so that the string won't hang I'll show you I'll come back through and show you so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna start crocheting right here I'm gonna go ahead on and tie the yarn on as soon as I can find the end I will drop and stuff y'all know I'm gonna drop something right I see it off my lap so I'm gonna just tie uh, this yarn back on to the long piece after I've tied my knot, I'm just cutting a piece that um, got a little straggly. I got another knot in how I uh, got, it a piece, got it loose. It was uh, mm -hmm. a couple of pieces of the yarn that had come loose. No big deal though no big deal at all so this piece right here I'm gonna knot it that's about three inches right there and you want to knot it so that you can um, enclose these pieces in just like with that with this original piece knot it real good when I mean, you get around here you want to enclose the pieces that's hanging into what you're crocheting. So, what I'm going to do is work from the inside instead of, um, I guess you can work however you want to, but I'm going to work on the inside, I think. What's that? No, that ain't what I want to do. I'm going to work on the outside. See, I'm working on the outside. See there? work on the outside of the shirt so I'm gonna take this piece and I'm gonna start crocheting I'm going to one start the one next door to it and just start crocheting just like that I really do hope you caught that. I'm going to start it again. Alright. So I'm going to start right here. We're going down. Come through here like that. I'm going to do that again. I'm not going to put this through right here. I'm going to wait till I come back around. So I'm going to just leave that dangling. You got to do this all the way around. Just a single stitch. And I'm going to leave that hanging until I come back around as well. And I'm going to just do the single stitch all the way, all the way around. And while you do that, you can, you know, decide if you haven't already, which I haven't, what kind of um, pattern you want to do. Mm, I'm thinking about something. I might do squares. I'm not sure. I'm going to see. So just got to do this all the way around.
and I'm using use whatever you know size hook that works for you see how that's coming along do that all the way around what I usually do I'll come back around again with this Let's see how that is that's how it'll look just like that um and this will be covered up when we come back it's not a big deal don't even worry about that hump um I don't know looking at it let me see it'll get covered up I'm beginning to think I might take this a loose start the other way let me see something yeah, I'm going to take that a loose. I'm going to start. I'm going to start. Um, there too many places I can start, is it? I want to make sure that hump is out the way. There. Right there, you just basically tied a knot. Alright, now we're going to pick up the piece next to the hump. And it still ain't, it still ain't covered. But anyway, mm -hmm. it will be covered. When you tie the knot, It's gone round. Put that through like that. And just put that on back. We gonna blend that in when we come back around again. The knot is still there, but it it won't be there. Um, once we come around, it'll it'll go. I was hoping I could have covered it, but I should have known better. I love crocheting. It's so soothing and relaxing. I hate it when my hands um, don't act right and I have to um, have to put it aside. It's good to do stretches while you're crocheting. That's something I would never do. You know, I never really did, but it's good to take a break and raise your arms up, put them down by your side, stretch them across your chest, you know, wiggle your fingers, all that kind of stuff. Oh. You have to do this. Your hands will just hurt so bad. Just stretch them out. I'm sitting here thinking this might be the double stitch I'm using, y'all. I want to eat me another piece of chicken. Because I'm about to eat me. Uh 
haven't seen my video from all of them. I got it from all of them. I don't have any preservatives in it. <clears throat> and it don't have any um, fructose corn syrup. I'm going to show you the package in case you haven't seen the commercial. Commercial. <laughs> that video. Here it is right here from Alden. <coughs> the brand is Belmont. It's so good, y'all. <coughs> All right. So let me get back. Where my needle, y'all? Oh, there it is. But that's what you do. All the way around for as you know as many times as you want to go around but I always like to come back around like this again before I go into um, whatever kind of design I'm gonna use and I'm gonna incorporate the um, from shirt to dresses that I've already made myself using this method Like I said in a long ago video, I had bought me some real nice t-shirts from Roses some time ago and they were so nice. I was like, I got to be able to do something. And they went over $5. You know, I spent, um, spent uh, $4.95, $5 on them at Roses. And I was like, these are so nice. You know, it's got to be something that I that I can do to enhance these. And just over time, I came up with the idea to turn them into um into dresses. I felt like they were so nice that I could um do better with them than a t-shirt. You know, cuz it's too hot for me to wear these t-shirts in the summer like this and to me it's too chilly to wear them in the winter and I wanted to be able to utilize them you know so I came up with this idea and they turned out nice and I can't wait to to y'all see them I want to attach them to this video I think it's how many of them is <coughs> three four I know it's four it could be five I'm trying to think as if, if it's a fifth one I think I got a couple that I was in the process of doing and sometimes my mind will jump I get a project in my mind that I want to do and then I'll stop and do that and it might take me time to do it and <laughs> And not either keep moving because I done came up with something else or I'll go back and I think um, with those shirts I got a couple that I had started and I hadn't finished hadn't finished had to stop and order yarn that I couldn't find in the store and just put them to the side and didn't get back to them so I know I've I've gotten four complete, and I know it's a gold one I need to complete, and actually, um, I had wanted that one to be the one that I showed y'all, but I had already, I ended up already starting it, so since I hadn't started this one, I thought this would be a good one. I thought this would be a good one. So here we are with that. And you just got to go all the way around like that. And like I said, then come back through. And that's when you um, when you crochet your ends in. What I try to do is when I have them like this, I try to put one in one direction and one in the other direction. It'll be 
two over there and then one going this way. That's what I try to do. Mm -hmm. So I feel happy about finally um, holding up my promise. Um, I apologize for being as long-winded as I've been with with this method of turning a favorite tee into a nice dress. And this will be good for like um, for your college. You got a college T-shirt that you want to turn into a nice. Um, into a nice dress and make it any length you want to make them keep in mind they do get a little weighty when you add the yarn they do have a little weight which is good because you know they won't blow in the wind but um you, know, you can do it for your um if you're not a college student do it for your alma mater or your um your favorite college team, sports, sports team. I see some of the pros, they have dresses, but they won't have that one like this. Turning a um, t-shirt into a dress. Not with the yarn, which is unique. Make nice gifts. I had um bought one for a cousin that um had the breast cancer. But I knew I wasn't gonna be able to get to it. And I took it back to the store, got my money back. Because I was in the process of doing something else. I said, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get to this right now. And then I don't even know if she would even like it, if she would wear it. So I didn't get it, but um, that time will come back around again, and I'll grab, I'll grab a couple of, and um, work on doing them. I try to make time, but just like now, if I had another one of these to do, <clears throat> I sort of kind of like wouldn't want to uh, worry with doing it because I'm working on my on my pocketbook line right now. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna show y'all my favorite football team I'm working on: McDonald's Cowboys. I'm working on this bag right here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to um, do some more ruffles up top. And I got the drawstring in here. I gotta do the ruffles for the closure. But that's why I needed to get the um, this glossy Mod Podge right here. So I could put it over the glitter and it'll shine because it had dried with the other Mod Podge because it's, it's not glossy. It's a matte finish and I wanted it to shine. So, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna put that out pretty soon. But I've been working on that. <sighs> so the bags, they're all different. I got, I got others that I've done before the ones you all have seen. And they, they, I've done them already, but um, like I said, I get some on my mind, and then I have to try it, and I just haven't put the other ones out. I wanted to put those out for um, maybe Juneteenth was the plan. That was the plan, y'all. Hmm. I'm working on math. I'll get that in a minute. 
Yep, this is the process. Just sit down and take your time and get through it. Look how it's looking right here. And my stitching, <laughs> it ain't that bad. I don't think it'll be perfect. They close together like how I want it to. But this is it, y'all. This is it. And you have a wonderful work of art that you've created with your shirt that'll be unique to yourself, to yourself. You can get your jersey, get your jersey, and um, add the yarn. Um, I say stick with the t-shirts. Jerseys, I don't know if I would want to mess up more with yarn than that. <clears throat> So yep, yeah, I'm um let y'all go on and do that. And I'ma come back when I get back around to the beginning here. I hope it'll be tonight. Alright y'all. I'll see you shortly. Hey crafters, I came over here to do the rest of this um, shirt. I told y'all when, I guess I told y'all when, um, yeah I did. Tell you how I'm going to include these um, strings right here so we don't have to worry about them. Hope y'all doing good today. Alright, so right up and through here, I'm going to go ahead on and join this area. I should have, um started the hem right here but it's it'll be hidden it'll be okay I mean the stitch make sure I get it in there good yep I should have put some right there as well but it's gonna be okay just the same I'm gonna fix that so it'll overlap so there it is <sighs> anyway <coughs> now start going on back around the shirt again with a single stitch so right here I'm gonna take that piece and I'm gonna add it in there when I come back around again that's when I'm gonna pick this piece up but I'm gonna add this in here with this piece right here. Well, no, I ain't because I'm going to take this right here. I do it like this sometimes too. I think 
That's bigger. I think that's bigger, but anyway, I need a smaller one, but I ain't gonna get up to go get that one right now. I'm gonna just use this. I'm gonna just pull this through right here. Just weave it in and out. So it'll be in the stitch as I go around. Take this and put that in there. I've learned over time the importance of um, including the strings as I go because it shows a big headache when you don't. You finish a project and you got to go back in and, and deal with your strings when you could have done it all at one time. first one I got a couple of tails sticking out <coughs> so I'm gonna just politely get rid of them now they out the way I'm gonna keep on around with this one here and I figured out what kind of stitch I'm gonna do I'm gonna go on around the shirt with this stitch right here though so far. I see that piece got covered up. That hump right there. Just don't look like it on the back. You can pull this string and make sure it's coming along with you as tight as it can be. After you on um, the second layer right here, you can really go back around using any stitch that you want to use, but I'm going to use the um, single stitch going all the way around. That's the way it's looking so far. And then after I come down, 
a few rows, I'll, I'll then, um, you know, decide on that fancy stitch that I want to use. And um, through here, I was thinking about doing something around here to um, make this look a little better. That's what I was thinking about doing. I'm gonna figure that out too. I think I might have an idea, but it won't be to after I get done with this. I don't like the way the shirt is turning up. I gotta fix all of that. But this is basically how you um, turn your t-shirt into a dress. hold it up against you to decide where you want to start your pattern. You know, I usually make sure um, you know, I, the shirt has come down over all of my later bits before I decide to add any, um, any pattern to it because I might want holes or something like that in it. So, but after this, after you, you know, decide where you want to start your pattern that you just um, keep crocheting all the way around. And I'm going to um, come back in and probably not until I'm ready to add my particular pattern. So, I'll see y'all back then. Hey crafters. Hope everybody doing good today. I just wanted to wrap up this video with um, turning your um, favorite t-shirt into a dress. So as you see enclosed, I have a picture of one of the dresses that I had done some time ago. Actually, I've never even worn this one before. And my tennis shoes that I recorded with the, um, I think they were pearls, high tops. You'll see them in the description box but I did them to match this dress and still haven't even worn it yet but this is the example one of the examples of how to turn a t-shirt your favorite tee into a dress I, I decided not to show um, the others just this particular one right here so I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something I'm sorry I was so long winded in showing you exactly how to do it and um if you like this video, please um, subscribe, subscribe to my channel. And if you already have, I thank you very much for your patronage. And if you have any questions, just um, just let me know, and I'll answer any of your questions. But like how I went um, vertical with the stitching, you can also go horizontally as well but then going horizontally I think you gotta add more stitches because I, I saw that I on one of the dresses I have I saw that I did go horizontally on one of those let me let me get that right quick I'll show y'all that one This one right here, I noticed that I did go um, 
I did some horizontal stitches. See that right there? And then what I did was um No, that was actually just a decoration. Actually. Hmm, that was just a decoration. I don't know what I was saying. No, I did um It looked like I did go straight up and down with that one as well, if you can see that. Uh -huh. So I guess I was doing some kind of decoration. And I got a little um, snarl right there. I'm going to just take my, um, somebody peeping at y'all. <laughs> my little baby looking around the camera. She was with her grandpa this weekend, so she's just getting here. There we go with that. And to keep that from happening, I like to like a little, I like a little fire to my knots when I tie them sometimes. So they won't come loose, it won't hurt nothing. See, light a little fire. And then I'll take the back of the lighter and just mash it down like that. That'll keep that from coming back through. See that? But this is another one that I've done. I've worn this a couple of times. But as you can see, with this one and the white one, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with my own. I think I, I think I've worn this one. I might not have worn this one either, y'all. I don't know. I think I have. But I uh. I, um, oh, what was I about to say? I don't forget. <laughs> I'm trying to peek around. I can't, I could turn it around. Let me see. Oh, yeah, let me turn it around. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. She's graduating June the 4th, y'all. From her hmm? school. I was telling them. Wait, is it June 4th? Yeah, June 4th at 10. 10 o'clock. I said I hadn't worn this one because I see it still had a hanging string. That white one did too. I know for sure I haven't worn that one since I finished it and washed it. But I see this one still got hanging string, so it might be fair to say that I've never worn this one either. But this is how this is. Y'all see how I did that? And I say, um, this is what I mean about um, using the same color to complete it as the, the color of the shirt. But with this one, I'm going to show you the one I, that we was working on together the other day. Take that napkin and wipe your forehead from the oil and the heck out of your scalp. Oh, this one right here. Like I was telling y'all, I didn't like how when I did it, how this was showing. So what I did was got out my, my needle. And I went through and made it like this with the needle. So I got to just finish this. So that's looking a little better, but... It's the first time that I've ever, um, but it's going to look nice though when I finish it. But you get to this point, just do whatever pattern you want to do. You know, do whatever stitch you want to do. But I just got to go around and finish this. What I did was uh, make a chain link, a, a, a long chain link, and then I looped it through here. And I still don't satisfy. So then I took my needle and I went through and I fixed it. I went from here to here, back and forth, so that this white wouldn't show through. But that's how I ended up fixing that. I've never had to do that before for the simple fact that I always um, use the same color yarn. But this is gonna be nice, just the same with this brown. I, I love that, that is, you know, the brown like that at the bottom. 
But yeah, I'll go on to show y'all the other ones. I'm just not going to put them on the mannequin like I did the white one. another three I got a burgundy one as well that I did but I bought all of these from roses this is one I did that what does it say y'all it said have a dream know your history I thought that was nice and unique and this is how I finished this particular one off right here and that's one of my favorites I just liked them all so much that I felt like, you know, I haven't seen anything quite like this at Roses since. I've had these now for almost five years. And this is another one that I got from Roses. And I have a mustard one. I've been working on that thing for two years. I ain't finished yet. But this is another one I got from there. I thought this was nice. Y'all know how I love my African women. She's another one I did. And I ended up doing the sleeves like this. And just leaving the collar on this one. Because I just hadn't figured out how I wanted to do the collar. And still haven't so far. But that's how she turned out. And I had run out of green. And um... The greens don't match, but I've worn it. I'm good with it. But this is how the bottom of this particular one turned out. And I love this so much. So you can do different things with them. You know, your own uniqueness. And see how that green, it blends better where you can't, you know, you can't really tell that you've, I mean, you would think that it actually came out of a store like this with the colors being real close to the color of the shirt. And this one right here, I bought this from um, going to a Kwanzaa celebration. And um, I actually ended up messing this up. But from what it says, I like the... Um, I like the effect that I got from accidentally cutting it the wrong way. So when I thought about it, I was like, well, this is, this is good. It's a representation of actually what the shirt says as we as a people are tattered and torn. So I kind of like, liked it how it turned out. But I decided to go with this pool blue and I put it around the collar. And I did the sleeves like this. And then I traced them with the brown. I mean, the sky's the limit. You can finish them off however you so desire. Um, but this shirt, here it is. See there? I guess you can see that. I like this shirt right here. And I like them because you can just, they're wrinkled and you can just put them on how they are. But it says, um, where it starts, it starts at the back, right here. See how I accidentally cut it? But then after you read the message, it's like, it's okay how that turned out. It made it, you know, kind of unique. And this is how the bottom, how I ended up doing the bottom. And I thought that was awesome. And when I, when I just started, Pretty much, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. It's kind of like stuff come to me as I go. And, and that's how I do it. That's even how I do my purses. I don't really start out with a design plan, but somewhere during the course of me working on them, I'll come up with a plan. But the back of this shirt says, dress says, for centuries, you have attempted to portray black people as being less than human, but a brief review of history reveals that it is you who is with, without humanity. And the front says, 
and you still cannot take away my mental and physical strength. So I thought, you know, that rip in the back that was accidental when I thought about it, I said, oh man, I don't ruin my shirt. And then, you know, I pieced it back together and I was like, no, 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 this is a great representation. So I loved, I loved this. I loved it. I, it, it, I really loved it. And I just had the idea just to take the yarn and just stitch it all back together, you know? But it was a, it was an accident. I didn't mean for this to happen. But everything always happens for a reason. And the burgundy one, I don't know how that looked. I um, I might run in the room right quick since I'm gonna show y'all all these. I might run in the room and get that right quick. Hold on a minute. Yeah, I'm back, y'all. I um, it wasn't where I thought it was, so. I, um, maybe I'll wear it one day and you'll be able to see it then. Bless you. But I didn't see it, so hopefully you'll learn something. And, you know, you can do that with any of your favorite shirts that you want to, you know, dress up maybe. Get some better use out of. Whew, excuse me. You know? So, um, finally we got that done. Now the next thing we gotta do is get the jean jacket tutorial done that I've been trying to get done, but every time I buy this cheaper, a jean jacket, it's always something up with the fit, so. But we're gonna do that pretty soon. But I thank you for watching my video, and I'm sorry it took me so long to finally do it. So anyway, y'all have a good day and thanks for watching.